Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Andy Baker again from andybaker.com and owner of Kingwood Strength and Conditioning. And uh, today we're gonna do another uh, whiteboard lesson. Today is gonna be on the uh, heavy, light, medium training template. So um, we get a lot of questions about heavy, light, medium training system. Uh, just there's not that much information out there on it. Um, one of the reasons there's not a whole lot of information on it is because not a lot of people do it. And I think the reason that not a lot of people do it is because um, the system is somewhat vague uh, on how to actually go about setting up uh, a training plan. So if you look at something like the Texas method, more people do it. Um, it's a little bit more rigidly defined, so people kind of like that rigidity. They like having a set prescription uh, for sets, reps, uh, you know, volume, intensity, exercise selection, all that sort of thing. Um, and so in the heavy light medium template, though, it's a little bit looser. Um, it's, a, it's, it's not quite as uh, rigidly defined. So again, uh, we, there, there's a little bit of confusion on, on how to do it. So hopefully we're gonna uh, eliminate a little bit of that confusion here. Um, but I'll start off by saying that the heavy light medium system um, is not a program. So a lot of times people will email me and say, you know, uh, I wanna do the heavy light medium program. Where can I find it? Uh, it is not a set program. It is a, it is a template. It is an organization of training. Uh, and again, it's very kind of loosely defined. There's a lot of flexibility um, and adaptability within the system for each individual lifter, which makes it very useful if you know how to use it, but can also make it confusing and maybe not so useful if you're not, uh, if you're not real sure how to actually put things together. So um, I'm gonna give an example of how I commonly put things together. This is not how I always do it for every single lifter in every single situation, but this is basically how I go about doing it for a lot of people. If you wanna write your own programming based off of this lecture, uh, you can start with the recommendations I give, and then what I would say is stick with it for a few weeks and then just kind of adapt it over time using the same principles that I'm kinda of gonna go over with uh, today. So um, heavy, light, medium training, what is it? Okay, well, it's kind of defined by its name. It's a system of training where you have basically three days per week. Um, typically, we're gonna do full body workout every single time. You're gonna do have a squatting variation, a pressing variation, and a pulling variation. And by pulling variation, we're basically talking about pulls from the floor. So things like deadlifts, uh, clean snatches, stiff legs, Romanians, things like that. And then at the end is when you would fit in whatever type of assistance work that you want, although that will be fairly limited as you'll see when you get through each one of these workouts. While not as time consuming as the Texas method can be, um, some of the workouts can be fairly time consuming. And again, anytime you're doing full body workouts, where you're doing a squat, a press, and a pull. You're not gonna have a whole lot of time for um, a lot of accessory work. So different ways to set this up. Um, you know, basically each day is gonna be either heavy, light, or medium. So you're gonna do a variation of each lift three days uh, or three different times during the week. Once heavy, once light, once medium. All right, so the first way that I have this set up um, is how most people think of the heavy, light, medium system, which is that on Monday, you do all of your heavy lifts. Okay, so everything is heavy on Monday. Then on Wednesday, everything would be light, okay? And on Friday, everything would be medium. So you do all your heavy days one, one day, all your press days another, I mean, all your light days on another day, and all your medium days uh, at the end of the week. So there's nothing necessarily wrong with this, except for the fact that you're not spread loading the stress around very much during the week, um, which again, there, there, is, there is times where you, where you would wanna do that, uh, but my preference is to, is to spread the stress around a little bit more during the week. Um, and, and I try to limit uh, try to limit to just one or maybe two heavy lifts at each session um, instead of doing everything heavy, everything light, everything medium. But this just makes a good kind of clear illustration of how to set this up. So I'm gonna kind of talk about sets and reps um, and intensity levels um, using this model because it's clear to understand. And then I'll talk about the second model, how I actually usually wind up setting things up in a more practical sense. So. Um, on Monday, which would be your heavy day, you're gonna obviously you're gonna take your heaviest squat, um, which would be you know just a regular like low bar back squat in the programs that I write. But your heaviest squat, and you're gonna get a fairly high dose of both intensity and volume on that day. So you could say it's a heavy day. You could also say it's a high stress day. So you're gonna do usually the way that I do it is I give a little dose of intensity and a little dose of volume. Um, in this workout, okay? And so what I normally do is we'll do a series of warm-up sets and we'll work up to one really heavy top set, uh, somewhere between one and five reps. So it could be a five RM, it could be a heavy double, heavy single, heavy triple, somewhere in there, but it's gonna be usually 
uh, between like 85% and 100% of one RM. So, um, and that's usually, again, between one and five reps. And then I will back off from there and do about four sets uh, back off. So I'm, I'm usually aiming for five sets total. And so I'll usually get my five sets in with one heavy top set plus four back off sets, or I may just give a really high dose of volume and we would do like five sets of five across with as heavy a weight as possible. So it depends on the lifter and kind of their phase of training, but generally on the heavy day, I'm gonna aim for five heavy working sets. All right, and then I would do the same thing on the bench. Five heavy working sets. Um, I'm gonna take the bench press as my heavy day movement because that's obviously the heaviest pressing variation that you can do. Uh, it's just a regular standard bench press, so that would be your heavy day exercise. Um, one top set between one and five reps, and then maybe four back off sets for a total of five um, for your bench pressing. Uh, deadlifts, I typically will do two uh, main work sets. Uh, the first work set would be, um, again, it would be a maximal set between one and five reps. Could be a top single, double, triple, um, top set of five, and then I'll do one heavy back off set um, and again, that's usually as heavy as possible for like a set of five. So that's two main sets, but usually one is like a top set. And usually that's between one and three reps followed by um, a heavy back off set of five. So two main work sets is what I would generally use for the deadlift, okay? Then we come to the light day, okay? So we, everything gets lightened up a little bit. Uh, the loads are less. Usually I'm using a 10 to 20% offset on my squat. Um, so it kind of depends on the lifter. The stronger the lifter is, usually the bigger the offset I'm gonna use, okay? Um, there are some instances, maybe with a lighter female, an older client, something like that, where I might even do a smaller offset. I might only do like a 5% offset, but usually it's 10 to 20%. I'm gonna take off the bar from whatever we did on our heavy day, okay? And I'll usually base that off of whatever I did for the back offsets, all right? Um, and I usually will keep on the squats on the light day, I'll usually cap the sets at three. So we'll do a warm up, and then we'll do three work sets of about five reps. And then usually on the light day is when we're gonna do our press. Now, the press in this context is gonna be trained heavy, but it goes on the light day because by its nature, it's a light day movement, all right? The press trained maximally is still much, much lighter than the bench press. So it gets classified as a light day lift although I am gonna train the press as hard as I can. Um, and I will do that anywhere from three to five sets. So because it's only getting trained once um, during the week in this particular iteration of this program, then I will oftentimes do a little bit more than three sets. Three sets of a lift trained just once a week for an early stage intermediate is not a lot of volume. So oftentimes I will, I'll bump the sets up a little bit to four or five total sets. And again, around five reps is usually about right. Um, and then for our pulling variation, um, there's a, several different exercises that you could potentially choose from for kind of your light day pull. I just have an example here um, of a power clean or an RDL. Both of those would be substantially lighter um, in general than a, uh, than a deadlift. And usually also I'll cap those at three, uh, three work sets a piece. So that would be like maybe three triples uh, on a power clean, three sets of five on an RDL. Um, certainly for the power clean, that again, those triples would be maximal. They're not three light triples. They're three heavy triples because the power clean is by its nature much, much lighter than the deadlift. So even train maximally, train heavy, it's still kind of classified as a light day lift because it doesn't generate nearly the stress that the deadlift does. Same with the RDL. Um, RDL might be a little bit more stressful than a power clean would be. So you might be a little bit careful with the loading here, but three sets of five on an RDL uh, typically is not uh, nearly as stressful as what we would what we would dose on Monday. So um, those are just two examples. Don't have to do that, but that's um, that's kind of easy to see the relationship there. Friday, okay. So Friday is our medium day, and generally on Friday I'm going to bump the volume up a little bit from what we did on the light day, and it's going to be a little bit heavier. So if we did five top working sets on the squat um, on Monday and three on the light day, typically I'll do four top sets on the medium day. And if this was a 10 to 20% offset here, it would be a five to 10% offset on the medium day. All right, you can kind of do the math in your head, but um, so for a guy, a stronger lifter, he might do five work sets here on the squat, three here at minus 20%, so 20% less than here. And then on, then on Friday, he would do four sets of five at minus 10%, so a medium dose of stress. Um, and then I would do the same thing on the bench, usually four work sets, minus five to 10%. Um, 
And then deadlift, uh, you don't have to do the deadlift here again, but it, it often works well just to kind of fill in some volume. This would be three to four uh, work sets here of five reps, and I didn't write the um, didn't write the percentage offset there, but this would basically be minus 10 to 20 percent reduction from what you would have done on your work sets here. Okay, so uh, just gives you a little bit more deadlift volume uh, during the week without killing you. Uh, this would be good for an intermediate, an early intermediate. Again, the only drawback of this um, is kind of you know. You're not, you're not spreading the stress around, so you've got this really, really hard, long, drawn out workout on Monday, and then the rest of the week uh, is pretty easy. To, and to me, that's not really the best way to train. Um, although, like a certain context where it might work in is a athlete who has uh, maybe a lot of training that they have to do during the week. Maybe someone who wants to do a lot of conditioning. Maybe you're training somebody that's uh, training for a, like triathlons or something like that, or some kind of endurance based event they want and need to do a lot of cardiovascular type training uh, during the week this would be a good system to use because you might have one day heavy here on monday um, and then they could condition you know tuesday thursday saturday take sunday off and they're not ever doing all their running and cycling and all that sort of thing the day before a heavy day okay so they could run and cycle and build up all that fatigue in their lower body and then all they've got to do is go in and do the, the light squats and the medium squats uh, and there's not going to be as much of a negative impact on their training in either direction. So the cardio training that they're doing is not going to impact their barbell training as much and their barbell training is not going to make them you know, overly sore um, and compound uh, the fatigue from their, uh, from their sport specific endurance type training. So uh, that is a context where I might use a system set up like this. But, more typically, I'm going to use a system that looks like this, all right? In this basically it just spread loads the stress around during the week. So on Monday, we might have our heavy squat, okay, just like on, on this one, but then and a light squat on Wednesday and a medium squat on Friday. So the squat structure stays the same as this one, but then our pressing structure changes. My heavy press, so this would probably be like our bench press, our, our heavy press, and this actually should be five sets of five, okay? Our heavy press would be on Friday paired up with the medium squat and the medium pull, okay? So we do our heavy squat here and then we've got a medium press and a light pull. So we get done with those really hard, heavy, you know, five sets of five or whatever and you're tired, you're fatigued um, and you can get through the rest of the workout a little bit easier because you don't have to go maximal on anything else. You just kind of have to do the work and put the work in and you can quicken the pace a little bit and not spend so long in the gym and not beat yourself up. So um, this is typically how I would do it. Um, again, this would be Friday, your heavy press would probably be a bench press. Your medium press would probably also be a bench press at a slight reduction, minus five or 10%. And then your light press here uh, would probably be your overhead presses again, okay? Uh, you would deadlift here in the middle of the week and the, the heavy deadlift would be paired with the light squat, okay? So you're a little bit warmed up uh, from the light squat, but you're not fatigued like you would be here when your heavy deadlift is on the same day as your heavy squat. So, um, and then on the day where you do the heavy benching, you're only doing a medium squat and a medium pull, okay? So, um, and you could, on these heavy days, sometimes also what I like to do is I'll put the heavy lift first. So I might bench press heavy first and then do my medium squats and my medium deadlifts. You don't have to do that. A lot of people like to keep the structure of squat, press, pull. It just, you know, it kind of feels right. Uh, it feels natural, uh, but you don't have to. You can start, you can start the workout with your heavy lift. Same thing here. A lot of guys like to do the light squatting before they deadlift because it just serves as kind of a good warm up, gets you all loosened up, get your back loose, that sort of thing before you go to uh, pull heavy. But some guys would rather pull on fresh legs and so they could deadlift heavy first and then do their light squats and light pressing uh, after that. So um, you don't have to keep this order. You could, you know, kind of move it around however best suits your needs, but this is just an example of how I would do it. Uh, to kind of spread that stress around a little bit and shorten their duration of, of the workout and give your workouts more focus when you know you've only got to do that one heavy lift uh, at each session that you've got to, you've got a target you know that you can really focus on as opposed to something like here where you've got a lot to focus on um, and a long time where you've really got to be in the game. So this is my preference for most. Now, uh, in both of these examples that I just gave, we basically talked about how to use just the regular exercises. Okay, the, uh, the squat, the bench, the press, the deadlift, and here I gave an example of a clean. But one of the things that I really like about the heavy light medium program 
is that it gives us one of our first opportunities with our lifters to introduce a lot of accessory type work. Um, not necessarily accessory work like curls and tricep extensions, but variations of the main lifts. Okay, so a lot of people want to do these types of things, um, stiff leg deadlifts, rack pulls, incline presses, close grip bench presses, front squats, pause squats, all these types of movements. They, they, they would like to try to experiment with these to try to help their training and just learn something new and have a little bit more fun in the gym, kind of break up the monotony of always doing the same four or five exercises, but uh, they're not really sure how to program them. And the heavy light medium system is a really, really good way to introduce new exercises. Um, because a lot of these variations kind of fit the mold of either heavy, light, medium, and you can just plug them in on that day as a replacement uh, to the parent exercise. So we'll kind of look at this. We'll, we'll kind of plug some, some movements in here first, a couple of my favorites that I really, really like, and I'll show you how I might use them in a heavy, light, medium training template. On the squat, um, the heavy squat is almost always just going to be a regular low bar back squat. That's going to be your highest stress movement, um, so that's, that's not really ever going to change. Um, same thing with bench press, just the standard bench press uh, will, will be your heavy day movement there. Um, deadlift, okay, you could do deadlift for your heavy pulling, deadlift or rack pull. Rack pulls make a good heavy day substitute uh, for your deadlift. So you could do this every other workout. One heavy day you would do deadlift, the next time you pull heavy would be a rack pull and you just kind of go back and forth like that. And that's a great way to introduce the rack pulls. And same thing here, just probably one or two top sets on the rack pull would be sufficient. Light squat day, you could just do a regular light back squat or something like a front squat would work good here too. Front squats are a great light day squatting variation. You can still train them hard. Again, it's like the press, you will still train it maximally, but by its nature, the front squat is limited in the load that you can use, so it, it kind of qualifies as a light day exercise even though you're training it maximally. A lot of people like doing this type of system because they don't like, and I'm one of these people, I don't like going into the gym and just doing a light exercise. I like to push hard on whatever exercise I'm doing, um, and so I will more often than not choose a variation um, of a movement to do because I like to push it as hard as I can. And then you might change, I still would keep like the three sets but change maybe to triples, just because front squats work better for threes than they do for fives. Uh, presses, again, they would serve as a good light day movement. Um, let's say here we wanted to focus more on the Olympic lifts. So we would say maybe power snatch as your light day, as your light day movement. So we've got deadlift and or rack pulls, or deadlift or rack pulls as your heavy day, power snatch as your light day, and then here, Okay, we could do a power clean as our medium day. So that, that, that rounds out our pulling program. Deadlift or rack pull for your heavy day, power snatch light, power clean is medium. All right, let's say that uh, we didn't want to focus so much on the Olympic lifts. Maybe we just wanted to do them once a week um, and do something else. Then here we could do clean for your light day. And on your medium day, this could be a stiff-legged deadlift. And again, this fits the mold. Deadlift or rack pull heavy, power clean would be light, stiff leg deadlift medium, okay? Fits the mold perfectly. Medium day pressing, okay? So this, we've already got our heavy day and our light day, which is bench and press. Now we've got several different options here, okay? And I really like to do this. Um, incline presses work really well here as do close grip bench, okay? I really like both of these movements as a medium day exercise because both of these kind of fall in between on the intensity scale, they, they fall in between what you would do for a bench press and an overhead press. So it makes for perfect medium day exercises. Let's say this lifter wanted to do more of a press and overhead focus program and less of a bench press focus program. I have a, um, I have a young guy that I train, a uh, college athlete, throws shot and discus. Um, all through high school, we used basically a heavy light medium program for, for him. And uh, we did every other week, we would do either a bench press focused week or a overhead focused week. And on the overhead focused week, our heavy day was a push press or push jerk. Okay. The light day, which again, this is 
Sometimes we violate the heavy light medium structure a little bit. The light day was usually a bench and or a close grip bench. And then we would press on the medium day. Okay, so technically this doesn't follow the heavy light medium, but it, it just works better to go overhead, flat overhead. Okay, so we would do that. And then the next week we would go back to bench, press, and then we would do incline. And this was a way that we would kind of fit in all these different pressing variations uh, that I wanted him to get in uh, for his for his uh, shot put training. So we would we would in, in a uh, two week time period we would do some sort of bench press or bench press variation three times, and we would go overhead three times. So kind of within this heavy light medium template. So anyway, that's just an example of how you might set things up. Um, the squat again we did a uh, so kind of circling back here to the squat we got the heavy squat here we got the light squat there that we changed to a front squat we've got our medium squat again you could just do a regular back squat and use this five uh, minus five to ten percent offset or we could change this as well and one thing I like doing here is a box squat okay box squats are pretty flexible as far as how you can do them you can do like just four sets of five, um, you know, with a little bit less weight than what you would squat with. Again, you can train the box squat hard and by nature it uses a little less weight than the regular squat does. So it kind of becomes a medium day exercise even when you train it maximally. Uh, the other thing you can do with the box squat, and this is good again, if you're training a sport athlete that wants to kind of work on developing some explosive power is you can change the box squat instead of doing like four sets of five, you could do like 10 doubles. Okay, so basically dynamic effort work. You might lower the weight a little bit and focus on moving it with, with some speed. So, and in a program like this where you've got some Olympic variations here, you could add in a little bit of dynamic effort box squatting and you've got a pretty good, well-rounded program for a power sport athlete. So um, again, you guys can see uh, it's a lot of different variability here. So I hope I didn't confuse you even more by showing you all the kind of different uh, permutations that you can use. This really doesn't, um, this really doesn't even scratch the surface of all the different, uh, you know, possible programming structures you could use uh, within this heavy light medium template, uh, but it kind of gives you a good idea of where to go. Use this as kind of a starting point to set up your own program. Start with the basic exercise selection, um, and then over time, you know, once you kind of get a feel for how the heavy light medium system works for you, then over time you can start adding in the different variations on the appropriate days. Um, and then as far as sets and reps and that sort of thing goes, uh, you just have to pick an art, kind of an arbitrary place to start from um, and then just tweak it over time. So on your all of your heavy days, I'd said aim for five work sets. On your light days, aim for three work sets. And on your medium days, aim for four work sets. Um, that right there will kind of be a good starting place for your volume. And then uh, anywhere from five to 20% offset, depending on the day uh, and the exercise that you're using. Um, and that'll be a good starting point for you. And then just get busy with it and start running the program and uh, tweak it as you go. So, um, and you'll figure out a, a, a solution that works for you. If you need help, uh, shoot me an email. You can contact me through my website at andybaker.com. Uh, if you want to purchase a heavy light medium program that's already kind of done for you, it, all the sets, reps, training percentages, all that are already done for you. All you have to do is plug in your own numbers. If you go to my website at andybaker.com, the Garage Gym Warrior program is a heavy light medium program that looks pretty similar to what I drew up there. Okay, it's a program that I've used for a lot of my trainees here at the gym. Lots and lots of people using it online, had nothing but great feedback from it. So if you don't wanna figure out all this for yourself and you want kind of a done for you template, go get Garage Gym Warrior. Um, and that's a very good heavy light medium training template. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Talk to you later.